Back pain affects millions worldwide, becoming a common reason for medical visits and a significant cause of disability. Conventional treatments vary from medication and physical therapy to more invasive procedures like surgery, depending on the severity and the underlying cause of the pain. However, these treatments often provide only temporary relief, leading many to seek alternative therapies. Among these alternatives, dietary interventions including fasting have gained attention. Water fasting involves abstaining from all food and drink except water for a period, which can range from 24 hours to several days. This method is thought to reset certain bodily processes, potentially aiding in the recovery of various ailments, including back pain. Despite its growing popularity, water fasting should be approached with caution, especially for individuals with specific health conditions or those considering extended periods of fasting. Consulting with healthcare professionals is crucial to ensure safety and effectiveness, particularly when dealing with chronic conditions like back pain. As we delve deeper into the concept of water fasting, it's essential to understand both its historical roots and the scientific basis for its use in modern medicine. Water fasting has been practiced for centuries, often for spiritual and health reasons. In contemporary times, it has seen a resurgence, particularly among those seeking to cleanse their bodies or achieve quick weight loss. In medical circles, water fasting is viewed with mixed opinions. Some health practitioners advocate for its benefits, while others caution against potential risks, especially when undertaken without proper guidance. The process of water fasting involves consuming only water and abstaining from all other foods and beverages. This deprivation forces the body to turn to its stored energy sources, primarily fat, for fuel. The metabolic shift that occurs is significant, moving from glucose-based to ketone-based energy production. This shift is central to the therapeutic effects attributed to fasting. Physiologically, water fasting initiates a series of biological responses that can influence health. These include autophagy, a process where cells clean out damaged components, and a reduction in inflammation, a common factor in many chronic diseases including back pain. By understanding these mechanisms, we can better comprehend how fasting might contribute to health improvements, including the alleviation of back pain symptoms. The potential of water fasting to alleviate back pain may lie in its ability to modulate several biological processes. During fasting, the body undergoes significant metabolic changes that can influence inflammation, cellular repair, and pain perception. One key process is autophagy, where cells degrade and recycle their components. This cellular housekeeping can remove damaged molecules and organelles that might contribute to inflammation and pain. Another important mechanism is the reduction of inflammatory markers. Fasting decreases the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines, chemicals that signal inflammation throughout the body. This reduction can potentially lessen the inflammation associated with back pain, particularly in conditions like degenerative disc disease or herniated discs. Additionally, fasting increases the production of endorphins, natural pain relievers, that can help diminish the perception of pain. Moreover, fasting can improve insulin sensitivity and reduce blood sugar levels, contributing to a decrease in systemic inflammation. By addressing these underlying factors, fasting may not only relieve back pain, but also improve overall spinal health. Despite these promising mechanisms, the direct correlation between fasting and back pain relief needs more robust scientific validation. Section 4 scientific evidence studies and expert opinions. The scientific community remains divided on the efficacy of water fasting for back pain relief. Some studies suggest potential benefits, while others caution against possible health risks. A review of clinical trials indicates that short-term fasting can reduce chronic pain in some individuals, including those with back pain. These studies typically report improvements in pain intensity and physical function after fasting periods. However, the quality and scale of these studies vary, and many lack the rigor of large-scale, randomized controlled trials. Expert opinions also differ, with some clinicians reporting positive outcomes in patients who incorporate fasting into their treatment plans, while others see minimal or no benefits. 
This discrepancy highlights the need for more comprehensive research to understand the role of fasting in back pain management better. In addition to clinical studies, anecdotal evidence from individuals who have tried water fasting for back pain provides a mixed picture. Some report significant improvements, while others find no change or even worsening of symptoms. Given the current evidence, it is clear that more research is needed to establish water fasting as a reliable treatment for back pain. Section 5. Conclusion, Summary and Future Directions In conclusion, water fasting presents a fascinating yet controversial approach to managing back pain. The potential mechanisms, such as reduced inflammation and enhanced autophagy, offer a theoretical basis for its use. However, the scientific evidence remains inconclusive, with studies and expert opinions providing both support and caution. For those considering water fasting as a treatment for back pain, it is crucial to consult with healthcare professionals and consider personal health conditions. As research continues to evolve, future studies should aim to clarify the effectiveness and safety of fasting, potentially making it a more mainstream treatment option.